Greetings. <clears throat> I am Elder Blacklight. It's my ambition to be your counselor, your motivator, your advisor, because I love uh, my people. I think that some of us are ready to rule a righteous planet. <clears throat> I think there are others who have adopted this system and its corrupt corruption and they become addicted to it and they're not going to separate themselves from it. And that's probably is the majority of the people. That's what is meant by democratic. The majority rules and dictates the direction of others. And if uh, you're in the minority, even though you may be the majority uh, in that system, then you're going to be a loser. So, the United States was <clears throat> able to uh, take over and to gobble up all the other little systems, weak systems, using a con, using a con, they are cons, professional con artists. In that word consciousness, you got con. So they was able to con your consciousness. And <clears throat> the only way we they was able to do it is that You were unrighteous. You had a bit of unrighteousness or larceny in your heart. My uncle, I mean my, my grandfather used to be a con artist. And he said you can't con an, an honest man. So if you kind of greedy and whatever, all those like con games like the pigeon drop, old con games, Probably got new names now, you know, and other kind games, they'll get you. And you'll never be the wiser. They say there's a sucker born every minute. And when you go on YouTube, you see, you know, just how many suckers there are. And a lot of them don't want to admit that they're wrong, you know, and they'll keep on being suckers. As much as I love uh, the nation of Islam, and I wanted to believe that uh, Mr. Farrakhan was on the right path over a period, period of time, you know, I had to separate my uh, bond for Minister Farrakhan from his actions. See, his actions speak louder than words. And you, when you start putting things together, you see that he wasn't following the teachings or the instructions of Master Farah Muhammad and Yonah Elijah Muhammad. And now that this uh, pandemic has seized the whole planet. It seemed like he was an aid to help this. Now, I know a lot of y'all brothers going to be upset with me, but I'm being respectful. I'm not like like um, Pharaoh, uh, young Pharaoh. I'm being respectful because 
at one time before the death of uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Mr. Farrakhan was an aide. But he listened to Wallace D for some reason. Same with uh, Malcolm. The same with uh, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali was more direct in telling off the white people than all of them. Muhammad Ali didn't bite his tongue. But after the death of the uh, Honorable Elijah Muhammad, uh, he, uh, see, what, what, what the problem was with them, they started admiring and worshiping the Honorable Elijah Muhammad instead of uh, eternalizing his words they was worshiping the man you know and he kept telling us you know the honorable Elijah Muhammad kept telling us that he is not to be worshiped he's just a, a messenger you know and Master Farad told us he said I'd rather for y'all to call me brother you know I'm your brother because he, he didn't want us to get spooky with this thing, you know. Uh, he wanted us, uh, us to take a scientific, mathematical approach to everything. But since we had the white man system in us so deep that we uh, couldn't come out of it quick enough. And so... Mr. Farrakhan and even brothers today, the ones that say they follow the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, they point their finger at Mr. Farrakhan. I just thought of this. A revelation came to me maybe a couple of years back. Brothers was just slamming on Minister Farrakhan, but they weren't doing nothing either, but just slamming on Minister Farrakhan. And I felt something coming. I felt death coming. I felt it. And I haven't been on YouTube that long, but uh, when I first came on YouTube, I had me and my grandson, the first video, we were planting a garden. I was showing my grandson how to work the earth. And uh, we got a good crop that year. And uh, so now that uh, Trump is laying off people of the plantation, he, this is what you call a, a mass layoff. You know, he's laying off. But he's going to call us back to work. But when he calls us back to work, there's going to be another uh, pandemic, second wave, they call it. So now what's going to happen to us, to you? You're going to be so beat up that you, you're going to be weak. And uh, I said, you know, do the rope a dope. But I see y'all not fast enough to get out the way of the punches. You know, y'all can't do the rope of dope like Ali. Because y'all didn't have the reflexes or the sense Ali had. And even he got caught up in it, you know. And, you know, he didn't come out too good either. So... We, uh, it's going to be too late to resist, you know, uh, to stop building in your neighborhoods. They done already got the, you know, got everything in place. And when it, everything starts hitting, it's going to hit with rapid speed, keeping you off balance. 
you're going to react the same old way you've been reacting. And then when it's almost too late, it's going to hit you like, wow, I should have listened. And then you're going to panic. Just like the, how this pandemic got everybody panicked. They don't know how to react to it. They was lining it up all along, stage after stage. When they had the uh, King Alfred plan, RX, that's been out for a long time, that video or that knowledge about the King Alfred plan for 20 years. And it was telling exactly how it was going to go down. The only thing different in it, it, different about it is they're using a, a, a disease, you know, to, 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 to have civil disobedience. And the only thing we're doing about it is reporting it. And we think we're going to take it to the courts, and the courts going to do something. But you seen when they had uh, Trayvon Martin's, uh, when you seen what happened when they had Trayvon Von Martin court trial. And you see when they uh, shot and murdered Nipsey Hussle, how they how they doing. And you see how, uh, what's that name, Botham John. You see how they did him and his court trial. You know. So, and y'all just sitting back, oh, ain't that wrong? See what he did to me? And acting surprised because y'all don't know what to do. So, this is my advice. Number one, keep your money in your pocket. You're going to have to unite. And if uh, they're not talking about it, talking about uh, all your favorite YouTubers, don't listen to them. Black Light. We talk about it some more.